Hey everyone, thanks for watching. So I just started using airbrushing to enhance some of my acrylic paintings and I wish I would have done it sooner. You know, it really helps with these smoke effects and these outer glows that I've always had trouble with because it's it's tough as you know to get those those beautiful blends with acrylics. It's it's very difficult. So airbrushing helps you achieve some of that. And you can work more quickly too. But some of these tough blends, like those color-to-color -color blends, keeping those real soft and breaking up those hard edges, you know, Milky Way, night sky blends, and just that, that subtle glow, you know, smoke and spray from that orca, fireflies, just things like that, those, those subtle soft touches that are really tough to blend out with acrylics. You know, the airbrush is just a game changer for that. So... Uh, I love it. I, th I think it's really taken my work to the next level. I'm excited about it. And so I'm going to continue to use it. And I just thought I would show you the one I'm using, how I'm using it. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll guinea pig it a bit for you guys. And, and as you watch, then if you like it, uh, hopefully this will help you start to use it yourself. Um, this is what I've been doing. This is the setup. Uh, you know, I just have, uh, obviously, the airbrush. Um, a soft bristled brush just to load and blend the paint up in the container. Obviously, whatever paint you're using. It comes with a dropper. I use this to add some water in the hopper just to thin out the paint if it won't spray well. Um, this is an awesome little airbrush that I found for like 60 bucks on Amazon. So I'll put a link in the description and comments um, to this airbrush. And it's been just great. Easy to use. A USB charger to charge it up when it dies on you and it gets a, a nice a nice spread so it's, it's been great uh, here's that charger that it comes with so it's easy breezy just like that and then uh, you know up in the upper left I just have some clean water so I've just been using these squeeze bottles of paint and squeezing out a little a little blob in there like this. You can see it in there. Just a bit, you don't need much. And then I've been sucking up some clean water with the dropper that it comes with. And then, you know, a 50-50 type thing. I want it uh, just a little thicker than a watercolor, you know, pretty watered down. I'm kind of sucking it up and shooting it out a few times just to bust it up and really blend it up in that hopper so it sprays out well. And that's been working. That's been working so far. I know some people use alcohol and things like that, but I've just been using water and it's been great. And then you just press this little button here on the side and that turns on the compressor. And then you pull that trigger with your index finger and then you can see you get that beautiful soft spray that comes out. And then, you know, if you get too close or you use too much water, you can get weird spots and stuff. So watch out for that. But uh, on the back, it has that thumb, that little turn thumb that if you turn it counterclockwise to the left, you get more spray. If you turn it clockwise to the right, it closes it off and you get less. But you can tweak with that, play with it a little bit, get used to it for a while, practice here. and uh, But once you get going, it's really just an awesome tool to have. So I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really excited to start using this and, and just keep learning with it. But, you know, you can see you just pull back with your index finger there. And the further you pull back, the more comes out. Obviously, the closer you get to the canvas, the denser the paint. And you got to watch out. If you get too close, it'll puddle up like there in the center. So I wanted you to be able to see that. And then if you pull back, you know, it'll spread out that pattern and get a lot wider and softer. But, uh, you know, it's really helping with, with those certain super tough effects. So, again, that's, that's pretty much it. And that's, that's the use. Very easy to use. And they, you know, I'm... They didn't give me this. Uh, this isn't sponsored or anything. This is just my honest opinion. Um, but yeah, this is a great one. So when I need to change colors or finish up for the day, I've been using this uh, 
I'll put a link to this also, but it's just a specific airbrush cleaner. So I've been rinsing the hopper out just under the sink like that. You see it's flushed out a few times and then you get that clean tap water in there. And then I've taken the brush and dug it around in there just to bust up any loose paint that's been sticking or any clumps that didn't get dissolved by running it under the tap. And then I'll go ahead and, and uh, rinse that again. And then once it's really clean in that hopper, then I'll go ahead and wash out the nozzle there with the brush a little bit. Rinse that too. And then get some clean water in the hopper and, and run it through there. You know, turn it on with the clean water like that and just spray it. You know, in your hand, make sure it's spraying. Shoot it somewhere, but just flush it out with some clean water. And then do that for like 10 seconds. And then after that, I'll put some of that uh, cleaner in there. Do the same thing, run it through, and then let it sit with some cleaner in the hopper. And then flush it all out, run some air through it, let it dry out and then it'll be uh, ready to go for the next day. Hopefully this helps if you decide to start airbrushing your own paintings. I appreciate you watching, and I'll put links to uh, a couple of these here at the end of this video that should pop up right now, and there you can watch airbrushing on a live painting if you're interested. So thanks again. See you on the next video. Have a great one.